Michael Anos. Uh, in just about an hour, a woman charged with killing a young mom-to-be will appear in court. This one, beyond comprehension. You, 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 we don't even know where to begin with this one. Police in Beaverton, Oregon, just outside Portland, they were responding to a 911 call on Friday. The suspect, Karina Roberts, said she had just given birth to a baby boy. He wasn't breathing. Uh, well, the baby didn't make it. But police say Roberts was lying, was never pregnant. They found the real mother, Heather Snively, dead under Roberts' home in the crawl space. Uh, Snively's mother says the women met online. They had become friends online and were buying and trading baby clothes. Joining me now to talk about this, uh, we welcome psychotherapist Stacy Kaiser, also with us, HLN law enforcement analyst Mike Brooks, and on the phone, Sergeant Dave Thompson with the Washington County Sheriff's Office. Uh, Sergeant, let's start with you. Uh, Sergeant, what can you tell us uh, about what happened in that house? Well, at this point, the investigation is still ongoing. We don't have all the details, but uh, as you said, uh, after uh, uh, Ms. Roberts went to the hospital with a newborn baby, it was quickly determined that it wasn't hers. We sent deputies back to the house and found uh, Ms. Snively in a crawl space underneath the house. She was deceased and uh, had been, uh, had the baby had been removed through a, a cut in her abdomen. Mm. Uh, Ms. Roberts was arrested and will be arraigned at 3 o'clock uh, Pacific time today on one charge of murder. She faces additional charges after the case is presented to a grand jury. Is uh, Ms. Roberts the lone suspect here, or does she have some help? At this time, she is our lone suspect, although, as I said, we're still in, you know, in the middle of this investigation, so I don't want to exclude anything at this point. But she does have a, a live-in boyfriend who... who was under the impression she was pregnant. She's been telling him and other people that she was pregnant for the last several months. Okay, but he's not an accomplice, didn't know about this hideous plot. At this time, we don't think he, he was. He's uh, been very cooperative and it seems to be uh, in shock as everyone else. And he was the one who showed up to try and revive the baby, is that right? Correct, yes. He was doing CPR at uh, 911 direction when the uh, firefighters arrived. Okay, uh, let's bring in our psychotherapist, Stacy Kaiser, as we grope for understanding and some answers here. Stacy, we, we, we look at this, you know, we can't understand it on any level, but uh, the suspect has two kids under the age of 10, so what could be the motive? I mean, you've got to believe that the motive is that she wanted another child, or perhaps she promised the person she's in a relationship with that she could have another child. It is startling to me the kind of desperate things that women mm. will do who want to have a baby. Okay, um, so you're thinking motive having the third child. Where does someone concoct this, an evil plot like this? How do they go to that place, Stacey? I think it comes from desperation and an opportunistic ability. You know, I try and warn people over and over again, you cannot trust people you meet on the Internet. And she took advantage of that. Yeah, I mean, because that's the, 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 the way she got in with Heather Snidely was... A trading of baby clothes back and forth. How innocent is that? Mike Brooks, mm. uh, Stacy just kind of uh, tipped us off on that one, especially in Craigslist themselves. They say it. You don't meet anybody on a private place, right? No, you don't. You know, we've, we've heard, heard issues with Craigslist, with uh, Facebook, you know, with other, but you can't do that, Mike. You know, and, and this, this crime, is, uh, it's just unspeakable because they, the autopsy apparently said uh, what they've released so far that mm. she died of blunt force and sharp force injuries and uh, you know and what was she going to do uh, leave her under the crawl space of her house you know I mean did this woman plan this whole thing out and did just think I'm going to leave the, this woman underneath the crawl space of my house you know I, it's just it's just unthinkable it is uh, Sergeant Thompson what's the what's been the demeanor of the suspect Karina Roberts uh, well, you know, I'm not sure. I haven't been down in jail, uh, and I haven't gotten any reports of uh, Patsy back. Okay. She's on a suicide watch at this time. Okay. has been since she was arrested. Gotcha. Let's get a call in. Uh, again, I'm sure everybody's uh, uh, groping as we are for some kind of answer and understanding here. Jason in West Virginia. Hi, Jason. Your thoughts here? Hi, Jason. Mike, how are you doing? Good. Mike, it's, uh, I, I love watching your show. Hey, uh, thanks. Um, I just want to make a comment. This, uh, like the gentleman said a few minutes ago, this is so selfish, not only for the lady, but for the baby. Uh, she had a whole life in front of her. What are we going to do about this? This is getting out of hand. Yeah. The, 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 the police department need to step up, and they need to do something, and they need to be... I mean, it, it's obviously very selfish. Yeah. And um, this is off the subject, but please just keep the Carradine family in our prayers thoughts and prayers. I know they're going through so much. And yeah. Thank you for taking my call. Yeah, thank you. We're talking about the Carradine family issues. With Jane Velez Mitchell coming up at 7 Eastern. We'll be dealing with that story. Uh, let's go back to Sergeant Thompson. Sergeant, uh, again, we have such an innocent ploy. 
the trading of baby clothes. Uh, again, Heather Snively, eight months pregnant. Did this, as you look at this in any investigating you've done so far, did the suspect tip her hand in any way, shape, or form? Not at this point, that not at least not to the victim that we've seen. And I, you know, I think some of the comments that have been made are absolutely correct. It's just you have to be so careful these days with with people. It, it seems like the world's been brought closer when actually you know we're still letting strangers into our homes, and we and you just you have to be so careful when that when you're doing that. Yeah, uh, Mike, because we. You know, your heart breaks for the family, heart breaks for Heather Snively's mom, who was set to welcome a grandson, and now she loses both in, in one, one fell swoop. But she said that her daughter, uh, you're just a sweet girl, but sometimes too trusting, yeah. and, and we just can't be too careful here. No, you know, these social wet networking sites, Mike, you know, and, and other uh, online dating, we've heard, we've heard you know, some really horror stories come out of that. You just have to be very, very careful on who you led into your inner circle. You know, I mean, this woman had seemed probably, you know, just, you know, benign to her, they was, and she'd befriended her. I mean, just a few weeks she'd known this woman via the via Craigslist. So, you know, our viewers, you just have to be extremely careful of who you let close in your life. Yeah, we were just showing some pictures there of not only Heather Snodley, but also of her fiancé. Couldn't imagine. They were so excited, ready to welcome uh, their first child, uh, going to get married. He, he had a new job he was excited about, and... Uh, uh, a nightmare that uh, is unthinkable for all of us and can't even imagine what they're going through. We'll take more of your phone calls on this. one 877 tell is the number.